A big part of reducing resistance to change is a lot about that communication and that clarity of what it is that the change is actually going to achieve for the organisation. So as leaders, we often have that strategic overview of what it is that we're trying to achieve, but there comes to a certain point in most large organisations where that strategic outcome is not actually fed down or trickled down any further. So a big part of it is trying to make that link, right? So making the link between the change that you wanna bring in what's the problem that it's going to resolve, and then being able to break it down in a way that makes it clear to how what that person does in their role is actually going to be of benefit to the organisation in implementing that change. We all can deal with change. A lot of people talk about, you know, our oh, people don't like change. That's not true. There are actually some people who love change. The, the reason people say they don't like change is because the change is not actually communicated to them in any way that makes any sense to how they understand their role or their position in the organisation. Now, I talk to a lot of leaders at high levels in organisations who kind of go, I don't have time to map that directly. And part of it is about how you educate your management team to distill that sort of strategic perspective down at the different levels along the way, depending on how large your organisation is. When I work with large organisations, it's one of those things that we have to do where we implement training at the varying levels of management to ensure that that change information is filtered all the way down and it's clear about what it is that we're trying to achieve. A big part of what happens in change in any organisation is that you'll get the leader strategically kind of going, we're just going to do this and even the middle managers don't understand what it is that we're trying to achieve and so you don't get buy-in at the lower levels because they don't understand what it is that we're trying to do and how we're going to get there. So. If you don't feel that you know how to do that, is bringing in a consultant. When I work with organisations, that's the sort of stuff that I do. You go in and look at the strategic overview and then unpack who's in between, what this person wants to achieve and why, and actually how that looks on the ground. And there's a, a particular skill set in that. So making sure that you can build that up in your organisation is also really important.